Hey everyone, it's me again. <laughs> I um, just did a video on releasing my swarm. Check out it. It should be further down in the news feed, I guess, if you haven't seen it. But I'm doing a quick hive inspection here. And I'm really hoping for some honey. This is a really strong hive I have. Um, I put this honey super on. And I'm trying to see if it'll let me tag myself. I don't know. We'll figure this out. I'll figure this out eventually. Sorry. Uh, so this is the hive body that all of the bees live in, and then this is, you know, obviously the where the honey should be. And as you can see, this hive is literally overflowing with bees. Um. I put a top entrance there. You wonder what that weird lid is there. I drilled a hole so that they could go into the top entrance there and just deposit their honey. Um, it kind of slows down the congestion in the bottom of the hive. So they have two hive entrances right now. They have one in the, in below, which is where all of the um, pollen and bees that tend to the brood, which is the baby bees and the actual you know, population of the hive. And then I have a hole drilled up here. You can see where they can go in the top and hopefully deposit their nectar and honey closer to the source. So I'm going to stick this on the stand and show you guys uh, a honey ins hive inspection. Hopefully, I, think I don't know, we'll see. It's still kind of early, but we're having a really good nectar flow right now. So I've been out of honey, like I've been savory my last two drops and I know like so many of you have been wanting to repurchase honey and I'm super thankful for your support so if you've let let me know if you've given me your name to be on the wait list I'll definitely be contacting you as soon as I can extract some frames hopefully out of this hive me and you are about to find out so let's go see my husband just texted me and told me he's on his way home so he's probably wanting dinner they should just text my daughter and ask her if she can make dinner tonight no, we'll figure it out, okay? Honey comes first. This honey comes first, then my honey comes second. <laughs> well, let's find out what's in here. I gotta get my other glove, and I will be right back. Enjoy your DTV. an extra box of drawn out frames just in case I'm able to pull a couple frames off this hive. I don't typically take the whole box of honey off. Um, I don't like, A, I don't like leaving a whole box of honey on here because it, it attracts all kinds of pests and have to manage it, all that kind of stuff. What I typically do is I take a few, sorry I have this thing all jerry rigged up here. It was raining out the other day and for some reason I gotta re- I gotta level those hives back up, but it was all pouring in the front. Anyway, just ignore that hole. There's a lot of ingenuity when it comes to beekeeping. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let me see if I can get you guys close up. I don't know. Without. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Alright. I'm sure I have a lot of beekeeper friends that are watching this going, oh my god, she's like the worst beekeeper ever. And I don't disagree about being all over the place. I'm a good beekeeper, okay? My bees are healthy, they're happy, and they live. <laughs> Giving them a little a moke. Chill them out a little bit. Break the seal. Sorry, girls. I didn't realize you were pitched to the top of that cover. Alright. Lots of bees on top here. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Let's see if I can raise this up just a little bit. Again, sorry about my amateur style camera. And this. <laughs> That's totally weird. Here. 
I'm not going to go through this whole hive because I don't need to be in the bottom right now. Although I do need to split this hive because they're getting really strong. Let's see what we got in the top here. We've been having really good weather. A little bit of rain every now and then. Um, oh, I'm just bursting at the seams. They're bee phobic. Probably not the best video, but I'm determined. If you're bee phobic, keep watching. We'll get you through this. Come get in one of my hives with me. We'll figure it out. We'll get you through that bee phobia. They are so incredible. Once you get in here with them, I promise to learn to love them. The moves that I'm squishing. All right, girls, move. Trying to put some nectar in there. Probably about halfway full. See that top part there? They're starting to cap honey. That is full. Once they start capping it over with the white wax cappings, that means they've cured it and finished it. So we're getting super close. I only got a little bit of it finished right now, but that's really good. Really good news. We're getting close to. So, I have a bee on my phone. This is what I would call a hybrid flame. I put a strip of plastic foundation on top and I let them, I let them draw out the entire bottom half um, for whatever they want. And as you can see, it's grown. That larva is grown. Which are the boy bees. Oh, I got high beetle.
So that's good. That means that this that's a strong of a, a high bleh, sign of a strong healthy hive because they can afford to have drones, if you will. Drones cost the hive a lot of resources because all they do is eat. But on the top, you can see it's cat. So. We're getting really close. This hive is getting very strong. I'm going to have to split this hive into two hives here, probably, in the next week. I don't want to swarm. I had a good mite count. I bust my butt to get good mite counts on my hives, to have strong, healthy queens with good genetics. So it's the worst. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, strong genetics, you know, and the worst thing that could happen is if that queen flies off and I spend all that time trying to find a good one. Alright, this one's the same thing, a lot of nectar, but also a lot of drone comb it looks like they're building, which is great because it has a good mite count. I want this queen's genetics to propagate via the male bee species that spreads the genetics around the other neighborhood bees. So it looks like no capped honey yet. They're actually building up brood into the honey, which I'm okay with. Some people put like queen excluders on there to stop their queens from laying up in the honey sleepers, but I prefer just to do their own natural thing. If she wants to take a couple frames in the honey super because she feels like she needs it, the queen that is, I'm all about do your thing girl. Again, this is one of those frames that I let them build out, and you can see this part, this strip here, was plastic foundation that I gave them, and they drew out the wax. And this all is natural wax that they have built out. Brand new sparkly white wax. Yeah, you gotta be something special to get super excited about this stuff. But again, you can tell on top they're starting to cap some of the honey. Oh, girls. All right, see the cappings? We're getting close. Tula poplar is blooming. The rain is a good thing. Gotta make sure I keep these frames on here. I might actually put this second box up here just to look to see what they do with it. The key is not to give them too much space that they have to defend, that they have to clean, that they have to manage the heat and temperature and humidity of. Because if you give them too much space and the population isn't big enough yet, you'll get hive beetles. You'll get issues with humidity or condensation or temperature because there's not enough of them to. It's like building a whole other apartment complex and expecting you to clean it. <laughs> whole other floor, that is. I can't even clean, clean my house, to be honest. Alright. Really, we're getting really close. See? Right there. Starting to cap it. Super excited! Hi Regina! Hey Francis! Hey Aaron! Sorry if I'm not responding to you guys. Got my hands full. <laughs> We're getting really, really close, so I'm gonna leave these in there and let them finish these up. I'm actually not gonna add this third level yet because I have to move this hive and put a new stand underneath it soon too. So one less box to move the better. We're getting there. Good news is I don't see any queen cells up here. I don't see any problematic signs. I don't know. I'll be out of here in a second. It's getting dark. They want to keep everything closed up. I'll be out of here soon, girls. I promise. Hmm. Got some bee butts on this one. See the bee butts? Oh, I know, I'm a geek. 
there they are they are literally see they are waist deep in those cells depositing that nectar way down deep in there they fill it all the way up like see how deep they are down that cell those are the little back ends sticking out there but you'll see them come back out here in a second as soon as they regurgitate the nectar into the cell they pop back out and then they'll continue to regurgitate the nectar they pass it actually from bee to bee and different honey stomachs different enzymes is what produces the honey so I'm not the best business sales pitch to be like hey buy my regurgitated bees <laughs> but it's just incredible if you've had the honey you know how good it is all right that's it no honey yet we're getting really close though so it's very promising probably take this queen and uh, you know a few frames of the bees at the bottom and split them into a new location and then I'll leave this hive with most of the workers most of the foragers and I'll allow them to reclean themselves so that'll allow me to have still a pretty strong hive here um, and still most of the workers during the prime honey Flow, while still separating the bees so they don't swarm. It's, an art, it's called an artificial swarm when you split them. It's to like, kind of like psych them out and be like, oh, nope, you're good. You don't need to leave because you just have your hive downsized. So that's the intent. Sometimes they swarm anyway. They are wild, natural creatures. I just kind of try to suggest to them what I would like them to do while keeping their best interests in mind first and foremost and always so and i just like to say you know the delicious honey i get is a uh, reward for that stewardship sorry this wasn't like a sales pitch break and resume just sharing how we keep bees here important. I think it's really important to keep these always the center of the purpose. Alright. <laughs> I got some stragglers here. I'm just going to give this a shake. It's just fine. Doesn't hurt them. Let's get them off in the hive. Thanks, girls. No honey yet, but we're getting close. All right, get off, girls. There we go. Oh, this is so cool. You guys are like this. Look at how they're fanning. You see how they're fanning? And they flow like a river. They're all communicating. They're fanning the pheromones. It's so cool. I love this. I've never 
Because he's just too lazy. See how they have their little butts up in the air? And they're fanning. I wonder if I should put a screen in their cover. On this. Francis, I cannot wait to show you how to be a beekeeper. Like, I am so super psyched too. You're gonna get you started and off and running and have delicious honey pouring out of your hives too. I mean, they are incredible. I, so I'm saying, if you're afraid of bees, please come join me, shadow me. I will give you a full suit. We will get you in here. You can stand back and just watch me do this. And after a while, you'll realize they do not want to sting you. They could care less. Right now, all they're doing is just cooling down the hive a little bit. They're fanning out. They're probably communicating with one another like, hey, there's an opening here. Everyone in. All right, I should probably close this up. Stop staring at my bees. I have a tendency to I have a tendency to stay out here and play with my bees way too long and neglect my human family members that's when they want dinner. But I mean bees are pretty cool. Alright, well I hope everyone's well. I'll keep you updated and keep you guys along for the ride. I hope my reception is good. I know I've had really awful reception lately, so um Go ahead and close this up and I will be back out here in a few days and I'll keep you guys posted and I'll let, certainly let you know if you're on my wait list for honey when I can pull off some frames because I'm savoring every last drop I have too. I've got like two small jars left. So I'm waiting just as much as you guys are. Alright. Be well. See you later.